when he was five and a half months old, he got sick and I couldn't get his fever to break. So I took him to the hospital and after several tests, they ended up diagnosing him with meningitis. I was just doing what a mom's supposed to do, just going through the motions and it didn't hit me until later what really was going on. Jason spent 24 days in the hospital recovering from meningitis. Tests revealed that the disease had destroyed his ability to hear. He was fitted with hearing aids, which ultimately didn't work. The next option was a cochlear implant. When he was two, they scheduled the implant. They did the implant. About a week after he was implanted, they diagnosed him again with meningitis and had to remove the implant. Six months after Jason recovered from the second bout of meningitis, he was well enough to try another cochlear implant. This time, no infection, so the implant worked. Throughout the process, the family noticed crusade labels on much of the hospital equipment. I guess it pretty much shows that you're, you're, the donations are what they're being used for. That It's not just uh, handed out to whoever. It's actually going to... For a good cause. For the good cause, for the yeah. families, the hospitals. Jason's use of crusade-supported agencies continued when he went to the Heiser Hearing Institute. There, he met Cassie Davis and Cupid's arrow struck. But Cassie wasn't interested. Later, they met again at the Mini Deaf Olympics. Cassie was interested, but still, she and Jason didn't get together. Finally, at age 19, Cassie agreed to go out with Jason. From the time you met until the time you first went out was 10 years? About, yeah. Yeah. What took so long? <laughs> Wait for her. <laughs> 14 months after that first date, Jason took the opportunity to surprise Cassie at a color run. When they crossed the finish line, a personal best time wasn't on Jason's mind. No, he was thinking marriage. While family and friends distracted Cassie with pictures, Jason put on a special sign language t-shirt. Since Cassie loves the TV show Grey's Anatomy, the shirt borrows a line from one of the show's characters. In sign language, the shirt says, Cassie, will you be my person? I wasn't used to reading the alphabet of sign language. I had to read it closely and it's like, oh, he's actually repulsing me. <laughs> Jason signed the question, Cassie signed yes. Jason's smile says it all. The child who survived meningitis, hearing loss, cochlear implants, and carried a torch for Cassie for 10 years finally held the love of his life.